integrated accounting and inventory management software. Your Spire module tutorial is about to begin. This tutorial shows how to use the Spire point of sale system. So I can either just single click on point of sale in which it'll open up a window inside of the Spire window, or if I double click it, I can bring it into its own window and therefore move it onto a different monitor. And we'll just demonstrate that by shaking it here. Now it's on its own monitor. And on the other monitor is the main screen. So you can continue to do other work on that one on a different screen while having the point of sale screen up at the same time. So what we have here now is the main screen waiting for a sale to come through on the point of sale system at this point. So now I can either choose a customer by clicking on the customer button, either with my mouse or better yet with the F key on your keyboard. You don't have to touch your mouse as often. And here you can choose from any one of your customers and you can look up a customer at this point by using the F9 or look up and choose the customer you're gonna to sell to. Or if you wanna choose your cash sale customer, you can choose the cash sale here. And you can have multiple cash sale customers depending on your location. So you may have a cash sale Toronto, a cash sale Vancouver, et cetera. So I'm gonna choose my cash sale Toronto. And because this particular computer always sells to cash sale Toronto, I can set that as my default POS customer and therefore I won't have to choose it again. If I click okay then at that point, I am set to using that particular customer and it shows it right there. If I start the sale and it's defaulting to that cash sale customer, I can still then select F3 and switch from my cash customer to another customer. Then what I can also do is if I'm looking up customers and I don't see them on my list, and I've searched for them every way I want to find them, I can hit add here on the fly and create a brand new customer, give them a code and a name, that's the minimum required, and then fill in their address and other contact information at that point as well. So I'm going to stick with my cash sale customer, and at this point I can start to populate my order with items. So I can scan items, if it scan it, it beeps, and it adds it to the order, and then the first time around, I can set my widths and everything for all my columns. it will remember that from now on for my station. There we go. And now I can continue to scan other items in and put a couple more. And if I scan the same item again, it changes the quantity to a number two there. So if I do it again, it'll just keep increasing that number each time I do that. So if I just choose an item again and again, it increases the quantity each time. I can also, of course, look up inventory. So I can click here or press F9 and look up my inventory by typing it, or from here, I can search for anything in, in my list. So if I type in rower, I get this air rower. I choose that off the list, and I can, I can select the pricing and change it if I wish, or change my discounts on there, and then I get my pricing. And if I need to change something, I can double click on a line, change it, change the quantity if I wanna change that to two, or change my price or my discount on this as well. If I want to take a line off the order, I can simply highlight the line I want to delete and touch my delete key on my keyboard. Okay, across the top we have a series of F keys. So close is just an X, so you just exit out. Clear the order, starts the order from scratch. F3 we looked at, and that's the changing of customer. F4 is if you, if you hit F4 on an item, you, you hit the F4 and it'll open up that item. Or you can hit enter on it as well. F5 is to tender. F6 changes the, this to a order entry. So if I press my F6 key, it closes my point of sale and moves all the items into a full size sales order. I can now of course put on my customer's purchase order number if I wish. I can at this point, maybe I have to ship product for them so I can save this as a pack or a uh, sales order and process it. And uh, then it will now join the rest of my orders as if I'd key them right into order entry. Pressing F6 again brings it back out again. If I invoice from this screen at the, right here, it will print the full size invoice format. If I do it from here, by default, it'll print the POS ticket, unless of course you, you customize the POS ticket to be a full size item. And then F9 of course is the lookup again. If you simply want to add a customer's purchase order number or change a salesperson or something like that, you can press the F3 key, key and add in the PO number for a customer and a salesperson can be assigned to it. And if your system is set up to insist on a salesperson, then it won't let you get by this screen, even for a cash sale customer. Okay, when we're finished our order, we simply press the F5 to tender it, and it comes up and asks for our payment method. And I can hit the V for Visa, and it'll populate it with full amount. I can reduce the amount on that to say a thousand, 
and then hit enter and I can hit M for MasterCard and split it between two payments this way. And if I just put in say 200 here and then I simply choose cash for the rest of it and I put in a thousand dollars cash, hit enter, enter, it prints my, my ticket onto my printer and then at the same time it shows me now, it's ready for another sale and it shows me down the bottom here what my last sale was. So I can see my invoice number, my total and the change that I owe the customer. So if I hadn't done that, uh, paid attention to how much I collected from the customer, I can go ahead and change. And then as you can see, it's ready for the next sale. It's got the cash sale customer on there by default and you can continue on and take your sales from here. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This module lesson is now complete.